it's May 3rd, and this is what we woke up to this morning. More snow. And yeah, it's not a lot of snow, but it's still snow on May 3rd. I think this might be part of the reason why my bees didn't last very well over the winter. Let's talk about that. Okay, I've opened up the hive and uh, it's obviously dead. I keep finding clumps of bees like this. Um, and this is where it was opposite. And uh, very little brood. Um, there was quite a bit of honey, lots of food, but it looks like, and I'm, and I'm undoing these clumps as I go because I'm wondering if I can find a queen. So that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to see if, you know, were these bees trying to keep a queen warm? Were they uh, trying to raise a new queen? I just, you know, I don't know. I, I think we just didn't have enough bees to sustain them in, from the cold of the winter. So, uh, yeah, lots of honey. Just not a lot of bees. Okay, so this morning I'm letting you into my kind of messy kitchen because I've been uh, dealing with the flow hive and honey for several days now. So when I opened the flow hive to see what was going on, I knew that the hive hadn't survived the winter uh, because there were no bees coming in and out on uh, warm days. And uh, so I opened up the hive and went box by box and there was still lots of honey stored in the honey super. And so we brought that in the house, got it warmed up and we went ahead and extracted all the rest of the honey from that uh, flow hive top super. We actually got uh, a little over two gallons, almost two and a half gallons off of that. And then uh, in the bottom part, when I, when I took off the honey super and went down to look in the brood chamber, there were so few bees and it looked like they hadn't had a laying queen in a long time. And all of the honey that I left for the winter, it was all still there in the brood chamber as well. Very little brood, very few bees. I saw little clumps of bees, they were all dead. Uh, but little clumps of bees like they had been trying to keep warm. And I think our winter was just so cold that they just weren't able to make it through. And uh, our season, as you see on May 3rd, here we have snow. Our season is so short that I think that perhaps our colony just didn't have enough time to build up enough to keep itself warm through the winter. So I was very sad about that. And we are a little late now to start a new bee colony. Um, I would have needed to have done that in March, but it was still so cold. And so what we're going to do is, uh, I'm going to do some uh, painting on the hive. If you look here, this part of the hive was protected by the roof. Under there, the whole hive became so worn uh, and weathered because of the weather. So instead of just using a, an oil on the outside of that to preserve it, I think, for, I think for our conditions, I'm going to have to paint it. So that's my next job is to uh, paint the hive and then get it put back together. I'm gonna put it in a different place in our yard under our big trees. And I'm hoping maybe to attract a swarm this summer. We'll see how that goes. You know me, I'm always experimenting. And so what we did, uh, I went ahead and um, took out the frames from the brood chamber. A lot of the comb was kind of oddly built. And so I did a little bit of trimming on that. That of course ex exposed uh, some um, areas of honey and there were some big chunks of comb just on the side. And so I'm taking that off so that when I put it back in, it's a little bit uh, better of a bee space. And then I went ahead to extract the, what honey was in there. And so I put it, uh, let me grab it. 
what I did is I let all of this drain through into a, a bowl, through a colander, and then uh, once most of that was extracted or drained out, I went ahead and got another colander, lined it with cheesecloth, and then I set it on my warming plate so that there was some warmth. And then that honey uh, also drained through, and I would say we've got another full quart that just from those pieces of comb. And so in the old days before extractors, they would just take chunks of comb and cut it up and let it just drain out. So that's what I did. I did it old school. Anyway, we got a lot of honey. I have a lot of work to do on this hive to get it back into uh, service. And we'll see if we can attract a swarm to inhabit our hive. So lots of work ahead, even though it's a cold, snowy winter day in May. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and roll on several coats of paint because this uh, is outside, it needs, and in our weather, it's just gotta have paint. That, that tongue oil just wasn't enough. It, it, the hive really took a beating in just one winter. So you keep the paint on the outside only. Don't put it on the spaces where the bees actually uh, will be, where the bees will live while they'll be working, other than their landing board. That, that was the most weathered of the whole hive. It really had taken a beating. So I am gonna go ahead and put a coat of paint there and uh, so that they'll be okay on the landing board. Once the paint is dry and you can no longer smell the paint, then the paint is fine for the bees. It won't hurt them at all. If you can still smell the fumes coming from the paint, then it's maybe not quite yet bee safe, but it will be as soon as those fumes go away. Want the beeswax to go to waste and so I melted that down too and look at this beautiful beeswax. I poured it into a mold and let it set up but the beeswax after being filtered, strained and melted just looks so gorgeous. Just look at all the beautiful things we get from uh, those beehives. And I love the flow hive. I don't think I would go back to the other kind, but the beeswax is just beautiful. The one I, I showed pouring into the mold, it snapped. It's a pretty thin mold, but look at the color of that beeswax. Isn't that beautiful? So there's so much uh, that's fun about keeping bees and just so many fun products that are delicious and beautiful. So thanks for watching my spring uh, beehive activities. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, more crafts and things coming, so please subscribe to the channel and, and share it. And thanks for watching.